Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts news and information video. Today for you guys, we have something pretty unexpected to talk about that has just recently popped up over on Square Enix's press site last night. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross will be receiving its very first ever fan event that will be taking place in Los Angeles at the House of Blues on April 15th this year. So I don't think many people were actually ever expecting Kingdom Hearts Union Cross to get its very own dedicated fan event, but from the seams of it, that's exactly what is going to be happening. We already know that we are going to be receiving a Kingdom Hearts fan event February 10th, which is very fast approaching and is very exciting. This will be happening at D23 Japan. So of course, this is a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross fan event, which we can pretty much assume that everything that will be taking place at this event will most likely revolve around that of Union Cross. Beginning at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard, time tomorrow, Kingdom Hearts fans can register to attend the first ever community event in the US for the critically acclaimed mobile RPG Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. The celebration event will take place on April 15th at the House of Blues Anaheim. So depending on when abouts you guys watch this video, tickets will be on sale to pre-order and will cost 20 US dollars. They go on to say attendees can participate in various activities and try new in-game experiences that celebrate the world of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Furthermore, franchise director Tetsuya Nomura and the game's producer Hironori Okiyama and several other development team members will be in attendance to provide their insight into the game. So I think the most exciting part about this fan event is the simple fact that Tetsuya Nomura himself will in fact be attending. And personally, I think it's a big deal that Tetsuya Nomura is going to be making his way over from Japan all the way over to the United States just to attend this quote-unquote fan event. Generally, when Tetsuya Nomura is in attendance, it's usually for a specific reason and I definitely feel as if this fan event right here will be the very place in which we get the reveal and announcement for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Season 3. In case you guys don't know, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross was originally known as Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key and Union Cross is technically Season 2 of Unchained Key. It was actually April 6th last year where we got the introduction to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, the second season of Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. And as we know, this fan event is taking place on April 5th this year, around about one year since Season 2 started. It leads me to believe that at this fan event, Tetsuya Nomura and the rest of the Square Enix staff might step forward to announce Season 3 and what it might contain. As we know, the story of Union Cross so far has focused on that of the new Dandelion leaders, and of course the mysteries that surround them. We've been introduced to quite a few new characters, that being Strelizer, Luarium, as well as Blaine. Oh, sorry, I meant brain. As well as finding out that Ventus is somehow a part of the Kingdom Hearts key saga, and that he too is also a dandelion leader. Season 2 for Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key has been absolutely fantastic, but has been on the down low for quite some time. So Season 2's focus could have been on the formation of the New Age dandelion leaders, and Season 3 might be more so what they're going to be getting up to. Because ever since we've been introduced to all five of the leaders, really nothing has gone on. It seems to be the story is remaining pretty quiet. It also says in the description that attendees can participate in various activities and try new in-game experiences. So from the sounds of it, there is going to be some brand new Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content available there at the actual event itself for the attendees to try out. And who knows, this might even be some of the Season 3 content. This also leads me to believe that we might be finally receiving the level cap increase for Global. This is something that the Japanese version has had for quite some time, but for the Global version, we're still yet to receive it. Now, I understand that there is still about two months until this fan event actually kicks off, so somewhere between that time, the level cap might end up getting increased. A new world for Kingdom Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is something else I believe is very likely to happen as well if this game is going to be pressing forward, whether it be through a brand new season or they're just going to simply continue season 2, that being Union Cross. There's gonna have to be new content to freshen up the feelings, so I would say a new world reveal at this event is probably very likely as well. Now it says here that Tetsuya Nomura and the other development team members from Square Enix will be attending this event to share their insight towards the game. As we know with the Osaka Square Enix Cafe Grand opening, Tetsuya Nomura was actually in attendance and there he actually gave us a little bit of news and information within an interview form towards Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So I think the same sort of thing will be shown at this fan event where people will be able to ask Tetsuya Nomura questions about the Kingdom Hearts Key Saga and Union Cross. Now the last thing that I thought I would mention before we end today's video is of course the possibility towards Kingdom Hearts 3. Now ultimately I know what you guys are thinking, Cynical, this is a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross fan event. That doesn't completely rule out the whole possibility of something to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 popping up. And keep in mind, Tetsuya Nomura is making a huge trek from Japan to the States 
just to attend this fan event, so it leads me to believe that maybe, just maybe, we might be in for something. This is the release year of Kingdom Hearts 3, and you would kind of think that Square Enix would be utilizing absolutely every event they possibly can in order to push promotion for KH3, just considering that trailers have released over the course of the past five years, but although trailers have been pretty scarce and spread out. Square also do have plans to reveal all of the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 before the release of the game itself, and we're still yet to even see the majority of the worlds that will be in the game. So exactly how many more trailers are there going to be? Don't get your hopes up too much. Keep in mind, this is just a Union Cross fan event, and I believe that everything that will come out of this event will be to do with Union Cross and how it's going to push forward. But just keep that Kingdom Hearts 3 thought at the back of your head. However, guys, that's all for today's news and information. This was pretty unexpected, but I think absolutely fantastic at the same time. It's really awesome to see that Kingdom Hearts is getting more of these special sort of events organized by Square Enix. Obviously, last year we had the massive Kingdom Hearts World Orchestra Tour, we've got the fast approaching D23 Japan Kingdom Hearts fan event, and it just seems within the past sort of three years or so, these Kingdom Hearts fan events seem to be popping up left, right, and center. It's fantastic to see. In the comment section down below, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions towards this. Will you be attending the fan event? When we do get more information about the event itself, I'll be sure to talk about it in a video, but however, guys, with all that being said, I've been Cynical, and hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.